Hi everybody, it's time for the Sunday Makeup Basket Debrief and the new items for the week. Uh, I'm going to apologize now if I look like hell or if I seem like I'm low on patience. That would be a definite yes to both those. Um, if you haven't seen my Twitter timeline, my Facebook status, or my Instagram, uh, unfortunately, Friday evening, my husband was admitted to the hospital uh, with <laughs> severe abdominal pains, and uh, it looks like he's going to be there, sorry, he's going to be there f at least until Monday, uh, which is great because it's a holiday weekend, but it's not so great because I have a bunch of things I need to do around the house, and my upcoming week at work is going to be very busy because there is a conference going on starting on Tuesday. So I'm going to see if I can make it through. Um, dogs are going crazy because I've basically been at the hospital for between 8 and 10 hours uh, since Friday and, and today as well. And they need attention and it's Victoria Day weekend here in Canada. So people are outside and they're barbecuing and they've got their music on and I'm just hoping that I can get through tonight without snapping. So anyway, um, my last basket, basically the only products I used on a consistent consistent basis were the um, Skin79 BB Cream, the Comfort Zone Palette, the um, Sun Goddess Bronzer, the uh, Milani Baked Brush, Baked Brush, Baked Blush, <laughs> The Capture Total Dior uh, Makeup Base and the Dior uh, Lipstick in 687. I did um, <laughs> I did start using the Bourjois Volume Glamour Max Definition. This is going the garbage. Uh, all it's done is flake. It's completely useless to me, which is really a shame because Bourjois, or excuse me, yeah, Bourjois. Bourjois products are not that inexpensive. And for it to flake like that, to that degree, it was almost like a $2 product. So I'm very disappointed getting rid of it. Um, I also did not use the Healthy Mix Serum this week. For some reason, my office is beastly hot. And um, I don't really know why, but this would just slide off my face as well. Even though I wanted to use it, I did not use my Dr. Jart CC Essence Balm. This is the one with the swirls in it. It's so smooth and so soft that I know it would just come right off my face. Um, so it's not even worth putting on. And I know that Glamour by Zeta had asked me if this would be a good product for someone who has oily skin. And I'm going to say no. <laughs> because it's really... It's just so hydrating. It's so smooth. I just think that people that have oily skin would just not appreciate this um, at all. I don't think it would do them any good. I think it would slide right off. Um, no. No. So, on to the new basket. Um, because I'm really not going to have a whole lot of time next week, um, I've decided to go with one palette uh, for eyes, cheeks, bronzer and highlighter and that's going to be the Tarte Aqua Lilies palette. So I figure since I don't have a lot of time, why not go with one palette and just take all the guesswork out of it. Then I'm also using my Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream that I got in the US. Let me get the rest of the bucket over here. I'm going to finish up my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, the Radiance. Then um, finish up my Dior eyebrow pencil, that's almost gone. My e.l.f. high definition powder, which was a gift from Stacy Sunnyside Makeup. And then um, I picked out two Dior glosses. One is 582 and one is 854. So one has shimmer in it, this one, and one does not. And then as a lipstick, I picked MAC Craving. So, sorry, I don't have like a huge amount of products. This is probably the shortest makeup basket debrief and new items for the week. But, oh, you know what? Forgot my mascara. I'm going to open this. My Physician's Formula Organic Wear, the pink. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to like this because it's fiber. I think it's fiber. Yeah, synthetic fiber. Uh, no, excuse me. 100% natural fibers. And I'm not a big fan of fiber mascaras. But I'm going to give it a shot. So hopefully uh, all will be well and people will come home from hospitals and 
work conferences will go smoothly because I definitely cannot keep up, you know, eight to ten hours of going to the hospital, sitting there, worrying, and then coming back, playing with the dogs, and just wearing myself to death. So um, I hope you guys all had a great week, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch.